Okay, students, we have reached uh, the third method, which is reposition and visualization. Now, for this particular method, right, it takes a bit of uh, move, movement. You have to cut out the parts. And usually, well, after you cut out the parts, right, you will form a shape that's easier for you to find, either a rectangle, a square. And of course, in this case, it's just one big uh, triangle. Then you'll be able to solve it like with just a few steps only. Now, uh, in this case, right, let us uh, now break up the shaded area first. Okay, a little bit like the direct formula. But when you break it up, right, you will realize that it is actually half of each of this rectangle. Okay, why do I say that? Do you remember the formula? Corner to corner and to the apex. This is actually half of this rectangle. Agree with me? And because of that, right, I can actually um, move this uh, rect triangle. This triangle need not look like this, okay? I can shift it to a way whereby it's more understandable, which is this, okay? Half, right? Half of the rectangle, right? So half. See that? Okay. I'm gonna color it. Okay. I just have to like reposition it, like you know, shift it. But you know, these two, they are still the same. They are the same. Okay, they are the same. Because these two rect triangles denotes half of the rectangle. Okay. Now we move on to another of the rectangle. Change the color. Okay. Now this is the other rectangle. Okay. And similarly, we look at the triangle within it. Corner to corner and apex. So immediately we know this is half of this particular rectangle. And because it is half of this rectangle, okay, we can also shift it, you know, to any kind of triangle uh, that we want as long as it's corner to corner and apex. So now it transformed to be this. Okay. We reposition the triangle to look like this. Okay. Half of the rectangle. Okay. So. This has been repositioned. Okay, still half, still half. Same. Same. Okay. Same. Now with that, right? Are you able to see the magic of this repositioning and visualization method? See? Corner to corner and apex of this square now. When you form the two rectangles together, you form a square. Okay. Wait. Maybe I show you. Another color. See, this is the original square, right? And when I reposition the triangles, okay, I will be able to get this big triangle. Apex to uh, corner to corner and apex. So in short, right, um, Mrs. Zhao just want to scribble a little thing here, okay? Okay, do note that using the shifting of apex, okay, which you will be able to get a better uh, diagram or image. Or shape. Okay. So, with that, right, then you will be able to find the answer. Okay. So, in short, this method of uh, reposition and visualization is supposed to, like, uh, cut down a lot of uh, the various uh, steps uh, for direct formula uh, or for cutouts. 
So area of the shaded area is half times base times height, which is equals to half times this base, which is 30, and this height, which is also 30. Okay, 15 times 30, that will be 450. And that's the answer. One step.